Okay, so basically, fundamental trading, it's when you you trade among news events, I am like a country. Mm. For an example, uh, let's say uh, across domestic product, it's a South African law. Okay. Obviously, it's a signal that the, the, the economy is not performing. So, Lapo starts advantage and we sell mm. according to the news release. But the secret is you have to know the news release before they happen. <laughs> I understand. Okay. Yeah. So that's where my strategy comes in. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Yes, sir. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, you know. So my eyes are kind of red. I don't know why. So yeah, guys, uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, the one minute strategy, uh, which is very popular uh, for a lot of traders and who are familiar with the strategy i'm going to be telling you the danger of actually uh trading the one minute strategy and why i don't recommend it it's not a hate a hate video i'm just going to tell you facts why i i don't recommend trading the one minute strategy so if you're still new to the channel make sure you like and subscribe you subscribe if you're still new to the channel before we even get in into the uh topic of the one minute strategy i like you guys to actually watch this video hey boo hey yeah hey boo hey boo hey boo hey boo yes 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 man boy 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 yes as well the boy yes yes vale boy vale So as you guys saw the video that I just showed you uh, with this guy's actually tripping the account in the space of a minute, you know, it's it's very thrilling and, and exciting and stuff to actually triple your account in the space of a few minutes, you know, so I just want to get down to why I actually don't recommend the strategy and stuff. Bear in mind, if you actually like the strategy, it's cool and if it's working for you it's cool but i'm gonna tell you the reason why i don't recommend it personally uh based on my own reason this is not a hate video or whatever i'm not hating on anyone i'm just telling you my experience based on uh my trading knowledge and experience as well so first thing first guys you need to understand uh for those who actually don't know the strategy i'm gonna tell you how does it work <coughs> okay the strategy is based on risk reward yeah? like any forest strategy it's always based on risk reward it's actually you putting a certain portion and making a lot so you always have to target big events huge news you know those news where you actually see on economic calendar and it had like three poles then you know that okay this is gonna be a huge move those cpi news and all those other news you no know? so those news are very important for you to actually target for you to actually make a, a, a huge move and another thing you need to target is a broker with a higher leverage a broker with a higher leverage a broker with a higher leverage 
so high leverage is very important for uh for you to actually make money because you what are you trying to do is actually triple your account so leverage is very good for you to actually make the the market when it moves on your direction making you making a lot of money and when you lose you lose the a lot of money so you know the 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 use of leverage is actually you making a lot of money or you losing a lot of money so that's another thing so the first one we said we need um events and then you need a broker with uh that have that offers a high leverage so there's a lot of brokers that offer a high leverage now for instance xm ne? you know xm offer a high leverage uh there's a just forex there's a lot of brokers are offering a high leverage so a high leverage is for me personally i think it's one is to 500 above ne? one is to 1000 one is to 3000 so the other leverage the better the strategy so for a lot of people that trade the strategy guys i know in social media the way they show it they're gonna show you the like the visa the, like the video just showing you they're gonna show you the the the, the other side where by a trader is on profits trust me there are two videos basically there are two videos because there are actually two accounts in this in this kind of strategy so in another in an they, they open two accounts there from two separate brokers so in the first broker you're gonna deposit hundred dollar and another broker you're gonna deposit hundred dollar right so bear in mind you are willing to lose this hundred dollar and the other the other account have to be tripled or to be making almost five times ne? so for you to actually recover the previous loss and make profit so they're gonna go for a buy and a sell ne? a buy and a sell bear in mind the important of the strategy is actually for you to actually get a higher reward with the lower risk so either the account is gonna get blown and the either the other account is gonna be tripled ne? three times so you're gonna lose the hundred dollar and probably on the other hundred dollar you're gonna make approximate like five hundred dollars so in total profits you made three hundred dollars in a few in a few a uh, few minutes in time but it doesn't always work like that guys it doesn't always work like that i'm gonna tell you why it doesn't always work like that bear in mind brokers are not stupid brokers are banks and banks are not stupid brokers know like brokers know the strategy guys they are aware of this if the strategy was so good man probably a lot of brokers will be shutting down because this is like a holy grail because the market is either going to choose a buy or a sell so obviously you have to make money and it's a huge event né? so you have to make money probably all of us will be trading the strategy because it's probably a holy grail but brokers are not dumb brokers know the strategy so since brokers know the strategy what are they going to do that's the very important question first thing first first thing first brokers are going to deal with manipulation né? manipulation how does manipulation uh go about manipulation is when you're gonna when you trigger your trade né? when you open your trade what we call market execution né? as soon as you open as soon as you see when you open an order and then the markets and then you see your order then running on the whatever it's a buy or sell so they're gonna make it on a very far place ne? on a very far place so it's not gonna be on the exact place that you wanted to put that's the first thing they do they're gonna manipulate your execution ne? manipulate your execution by manipulating your execution they make your spread wild no your spread become wild so the, the bid price and the ask price become wild and then now you are running on a bigger loss we are running on a bigger loss you are running on a bigger loss so probably you open with uh like i said and for in the in the example you open with the uh hundred dollar and then you open obviously they go full margin eh? and then you're already running on a 40 dollar loss just on spread just on spread so what happened is what happened is when the event starts just a small move onion, a small move and you're probably like by three pips ne? three pips three pips you are out you are out so the strategy depends so much in that it doesn't have to put another direction like it doesn't have to move another direction for for instance you know the market doesn't move 
up doesn't move on one direction so you see when on the candle there's a spike up the spike down there there's the lowest price and there's the highest price so those lowest price and highest price basically means that the price at some point the market has a sell and at some point the market has a buy so the spikes actually show you that where the market really moved so if if the market decided when you had a buy and a sell there and if it decided to go just a small move against you just a small move remember the mark the, the spread is wild né? the spread is wild so just a small move just going against you they're gonna close your order on the buy and they're gonna close your order on the sell that's why it's just the first one by just uh for by just the spread alone né? i'm just explaining the spread alone secondly the market just doesn't move guys let's be honest the market doesn't always move on one direction so it's a very very good event that's gonna make you and pay mind it doesn't happen always né? like the video i just posted uh, the, the video that i just showed you it doesn't happen happen always when the market just pick one direction it's hardly it's hardly pick one direction it hardly just move poof, up or drops down it hardly does that in most cases not in most cases but in some cases because so, i don't want to be sounding like a hater in some cases the market will be moving up down up down so when you had a buy and a sell both of these accounts are gonna be blowing because of the market didn't pick one direction as i was saying with that uh <coughs> the, my biggest concern is that the the consistent game with the strategy doesn't actually sit well with me you know the lack of consistency doesn't sit well with me so i don't like uh the whole methodology and the whole idea of actually guessing the market that's why i chose to become a technical trader. as much as technical is actually predicting the markets there's nothing 100 percent pass so I actually go for like putting orders and actually not knowing which direction it gonna really picks it, it doesn't sit well with me it doesn't sit well with me to actually guess and another thing is the consistently you cannot become consistent in more than more than two 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 weeks two weeks is you hardly gonna reach two weeks being consistent with with that methodology so i don't like that i don't like the facts of blowing account and funding and blowing and funding i don't like that i think it affects you psychologically and mentally and your enthusiasm and your your human uh immune system like confident as well it kills you uh forex really kills you psychologically if you're gonna be keep on funding i don't like that mentality of actually funding my account and, and all those stuff and another thing is you know guys that i love trading platform as well and there's no in hell there's no in hell as much as profit allow you to trade news but there's no in hell you can pass any platform challenge actually using that methodology you will never pass the proof even if you can go for an install funding account you'll never make money using the strategy because you always depend on having two accounts it doesn't it doesn't make a lot of sense but if you guys are actually making money hear me properly if you guys are making money with the strategy go for it like go for it but for me there's a lot of red flags that i'll never put my money probably even hey guys i'll never use i'll never use it you know i'll never use it there are so many things that i've saw uh, uh, that doesn't sit well with me you know because uh, you're always going to be trading this kind of small account unless you become really rich or have a lot of money uh, on your side hustle so you can find your account with a thousand dollar and you are willing to lose a thousand dollar because you have to be willing to lose a thousand dollars for you to actually make money so if you see a lot of people using the strategy they always go like two hundred dollars five hundred dollars max five hundred <coughs> unless it's a demo or it's a promo it's a it's a promo for for broker then you see uh using them big accounts but no one can go for i'm willing to lose a million i'm willing to 
uh, to make six million because there is no guarantee. You know, it's such an emotional roller coaster actually using the strategy because you, you see the news as soon as it drop, you, you don't know how long it's gonna drop because it might drop and then decide to go up again. So even the risk reward, you are not even safe if you are using even a risk reward because. You are so emotional because you're already blowing another account. Now you have to recover. So it's such an emotional strategy. It puts you on a very uncomfortable position where you have to make decision real quick. Because you've already lost another account. Now you have to recover it and make profits. So now you're holding a trade. It's in profit, right? But you're not holding it confidently because you know it might change any time. It might change anytime. You saw those news when the market drops and then the entire day just goes up the entire day. So while you have blown the account, you have to triple it and you have to, you know, it's, it's such an emotional strategy. And so trade events, events are very emotional. They are very, very emotional. And I don't like, like guys, for me, it's just, it's just gambling. It's just pure gambling, guys. Like, for me personally, I think it's just pure gambling. A lot of people use leverage for gambling these days. They don't use it for for good reason. For me, it's just pure gambling. It's just Baseway or Hollywood, that thing. It's just Baseway or Hollywood. So, if you feel like you should take that route, and if it's working for you, but I've le- I've ye- I'm yet to actually see someone that is really working for them. Like, who have consistently making a living using that methodology, I've never meant. I've saw people triple their account, honestly, I've saw them, but consistently, nah, 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 nah. So, those are my own opinions, so bye for now.